FIFA 23's release is less than a month away and over the last couple weeks on my channel I have begun covering content surrounding FIFA 23 and how you guys can be successful at the start of FIFA 23. Now due to the release of the Ultimate Edition on September 27th and the release of the Standard Edition on the 30th of September, in this video I will be showing you guys the best ways or best trading methods which are likely to work on release upon the release of FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. Now obviously I can't predict the future, however I can show you guys trading work methods which have worked at the start of uh, FIFA Ultimate Team 22, so therefore are likely to work at the start of FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. If you guys do find this video helpful, please make sure you have dropped to like and subscribe ready for my FIFA 23 content you can also join my discord server link in description for that further ado let's hop in and show you these trading methods now before we get into today's video if you're looking to get some very easy coins there is no better place than U4GM head over there to get yourself some fast cheap FIFA 22 coins completely safe and reliable if you use code Manza at checkout you will get yourself a 5% discount link can be found in the description down below Okay, so assuming that FIFA 23 once released will be the same as FIFA 22, to gain access to the SPC section when starting off, you do need to go through and complete the Let's Get Started SPCs at the start of your Ultimate Team. Now what this does is actually grants tradable bronze packs and what this does is grants bronze tradable supply onto the market. So the first method which I'll be showing you guys which is likely to work upon release in FIFA 23 is actually just going to be the bronze rare trading method. For this what you guys will be looking to do is set the quality to bronze rare and then putting a maximum price to 150 coins. Now at the start of FIFA 23 these bronze rares will actually have a lot of demand and that is because people will be searching for these cards obviously to link up to put into the SPCs, maybe the let's get started SPCs or starting to craft out the let's move forward SPCs or other SPCs which these cards may be required for. And then simply all you guys are going to want to do is just search market and scroll across until you find a card of the bid on it. Obviously I'm only showing you guys on FIFA 22 so it will be different on FIFA 23 but you scroll across until you find a card of the bid on it. If a card has a bid on it this is a good indication that the card does go for more than what the bid is already bid on. So for example this Fredrickson here has a bid on for 150 coins we can see on the market his cheapest by now is 1,700 coins and this is the sort of deals which you will be looking for at the start of FIFA 23. Simply then we just go in and pop a bid on for 200 coins. We aren't putting down uh, many coins and we can go and win that for 200 coins and if we do win that we can go and sell that on for a couple thousand coins. And as I've said these cards will have demand at the start of FIFA 23 due to people needing to put them obviously into the SPCs and people will pay lots and lots of coins obviously to complete these SPCs because they are vital in starting out FIFA 28 Ultimate Team. So all you guys are going to be doing is just going to be this bronze trading method. Again, looking for cards with a bid on it. When you find a card with a bid on it, very, very simple. Add them to your transfer targets, then go through, bid on that card, and then obviously sell it on for the buy now once you want. It's a very, very simple trading method, and it's especially likely to work upon the release of FIFA 23 with the bronze supply that will come on the market on the 27th and 30th when the game fully releases. Okay, now moving on to the second trading method which is likely to work at the beginning of FIFA 23 Ultimate Team it is going to be the position change trading method. Now obviously we know at the start of a new FIFA people's teams normally consist of mostly gold players and people will be using OP gold meta cards. Now this as gives us a perfect opportunity as traders on the market to actually come in and make profit. For example, what you want to look for a player is a player who comes in a base position. Let's just do an example, a base position of CDM. So a good example of one of these players would be Conrad Lamar. Now he comes out of packs obviously just in the normal C uh, CDM position. And as you guys can see, his price on the market, nothing special. It's looking like it's going to be around about probably 1,600 coins, something like that. This is exactly what you guys will be doing at the start of FIFA 23. So we can see on the market he is about 1,900 coins. However, when we go and search him in at the centre mid position, obviously he has been converted. We can now see his price heavily, heavily increases. And we can actually see... Over here on the market, Conrad Lamer is literally going to be extinct in the centre mid position, minus a few special cards here. But what we would do is look for gold cards, obviously in this position, and then if there was any undercuts on the gold card listed up, we would try and snipe that card. I'll show you guys an example. For example, another player like this is Fred. Fred in the centre mid position, what we will do is now simply just go and look for undercuts on this card. Yet again though, it looks like most of these cards are going to be extinct, but obviously at the start of FIFA 23, these cards will not be extinct because people are position changing these cards a lot. But all you guys are looking for is literally just to scroll through and look for cards that aren't extinct. Obviously, sadly, 
as I'm saying, these uh, getting some preseason rewards here. But at the start of FIFA 23, Jesus Christ, at the start of FIFA 23, there will obviously be lots more people which are position changing cards on the markets. Therefore, you guys can search maybe just out of position cards. So like another example, you don't have to stick with the CDM position modifier. Like for example, Christian Pulisic comes out of packs normally in the left wing. So if we go and search him in the left mid, you guys can see these are exactly the sort of deals which you are looking for at the start of FIFA 23. 10,000 coins. Next one listed up is at 6.2k. We can go pick that card up. Go list it on for like 8.5k now. That is still the cheapest card on the market. We are taking home profit on that card. Again, these are the sort of trades which you are looking for at the start of FIFA 23. As more people will be using the position modifiers. Due to more people obviously using uh, different position modifiers to switch around people's positions at the beginning of FIFA 23. Now, the next training method I have to show you guys, which is likely to work on the release of FIFA 23 Ultimate Team, is going to be the mass bidding trading method. Now, quickly, I do want to stress that these trading methods are not guaranteed to work. It is just what has worked in previous FIFAs. And assuming that FIFA 23 is going to be very similar to FIFA 22, these trading methods should start. Uh, should work when starting out anyway with the mass bidding trading method what we're going to be doing at the start of FIFA 23 is looking for a player who has a buy now for example of like 1500 coins you can go higher depending on your budget but let's just say obviously currently we are in FIFA 22 ultimate team but let's just say we look at a card like for example 81 red Cragno. what we would do is find this player's cheapest buy now on the transfer market so for me currently with Cragno, obviously we need to find his cheapest buy now to then work out what we can bid on these cards for but Kragno's cheapest buy now on the market is going to be around about 1,900 coins, which he is sellable at. Obviously, the market will be more active at the beginning of FIFA 23 due to more people playing, so therefore more overall transfers. So there will be more deals for you to get. But you guys should be looking for players who are worth like 1,500 coins or something around that price range. Then working out tax. So we know if we sell on at 1,900 coins, if we knock this down to bidding at like 1,600 coins, we can just go through and pop a bid on every single one of these Kragnos which we can see here. Obviously currently on the market, the time in which it takes these cards to expire is going to be high, but that is because it, uh, FIFA 22 is pretty much dead and no one is listing cards on the transfer market. But at the start of FIFA 23, there will be lots of different uh, cards which you guys can bid on to make profit. Obviously, making hundreds of coins profit per card does add up quickly. And this method doesn't require competitive uh, sniping filters or stuff like that. You guys just simply have have to win the cards which um, obviously you do put bid on. So that is just going to be a perfect way to win, uh, to just make coins at the start of the game. Again, you guys just want to sit here and just scroll through some cards. Like again, if one card doesn't work at the start of FIFA 23, obviously you guys will experiment and find out your own cards which work best. When FIFA 23 does drop, I will drop a complete and utter trading methods guide. So make sure you guys are ready for that upload. But make sure you have subscribe ready for that upload. But my best advice for now would literally just be Find a card with the cheapest buy now, like we've been doing throughout FIFA 22. Knock that cheapest buy now down to where you can make a couple hundred coins profit per card. And then begin mass bidding, obviously, through all of these cards so you can take the profit once these cards do sell on due to, obviously, the activity of the market. You guys understand the mass bidding trading method. And if you don't, then I'll be dropping an in-depth guide on how to do it at the beginning of FIFA 23. So make sure to subscribe ready for that. Another trading method which is likely to work on the release of FIFA 23 Ultimate Team is going to be the Gold Rare Shadow, Gold Rare Shadow method. Now this personally was one of the best methods which I used at the beginning of this FIFA 22 Ultimate Team and helped me make hundreds of thousands of coins early on. Simply you guys will be wanting to set the quality to Gold Rare and then Shadow and then what you will be doing is at the start of FIFA 23 you'll be putting this maximum price to around about 1,500 coins and then set the maximum by now to whatever you want. Obviously this is only an S as to what happens when FIFA 23 does come out again I've said I will be dropping an in-depth guide on the best training methods which you guys can use so make sure to subscribe for that but basically as you guys can see what you want to do is literally just have this max price set up to 1,500 coins, then search the market. Obviously, when FIFA 23 has released, people will be using gold rare cards a lot more and applying different chemistry styles. So this method will become a lot more active, but simply you guys will want to be uh, scrolling over to the 59th minute and then looking for cards which have just popped up and seeing if there's an undercut on that card. So for example, there's barely anyone obviously listing up these cards because it's the end of FIFA 22. But for example, if Mendy was at 5.4k with a shadow and all Mendy sold at 8k with a shadow, we would pick this card up, sell it on for 7.5k and take the profit. And that's the sort of deals you guys are looking for at the start of FIFA 23. Now, you can actually use this method with other chemistry styles, such as Hunter chemistry style, stuff like that. 
to make even more profit. It's up to you guys. You will find what works best when FIFA 23 does come out. And again, I'll be dropping a trading guide when that does come out. But anyway, it's time to move on to the final trading method, which might work at the beginning of FIFA 23. Okay, so finally, the best trading method, which is pretty much guaranteed to work this one upon the release of FIFA 23, isn't actually going to be a trading method. It's just going to be a coin gaining method, which is going to be bronze pack method. Obviously, bronze pack method is the best way to build your club at the beginning of a new FIFA alongside making coins. It involves heading over to the... Uh, store and obviously hoping that bronze packs at the start of FIFA 23 are still worth just the 750 coins or maybe even those OG of us maybe we get the 400 coin bronze pack back but literally all you want to do is literally just head over to the bronze packs and begin opening them sell any cards with value and again this is the same thing you guys will do at the beginning of FIFA 23 but literally compare price on these cards okay this bronze rare literally he is worth there you go 750 coins that pays for the value of the pack there entirely. So as you guys can see, you make coins alongside, obviously, alongside stocking up your club with the cards that aren't worth anything. So let's just say we have sold enough coin uh, cards there. Obviously, it's the end of the game. I'm not worry, really worried about making coins on FIFA 22. But let's say it's the start of FIFA 23, and these two cards here are worth nothing. What we can do is then send these cards over to our club. Obviously, we have already made profit from these packs from selling them cards on. And then send, sending these bronze commons over to our club. We are actually building up our club. Then bronze commons can even be used in Let's Get Started SBCs. Other SBCs, such as Advanced SBCs, or can be transferred up through the bronze upgrade, silver upgrade, and gold upgrades to eventually get you guys gold players from your team. If you guys get the idea, you are literally just going through selling anything of value to regain coins of the pack. And obviously, at the start of the game, it's uh, the start of FIFA 23. It's up to you guys whether you choose to sell on all of the players that you do get from the packs or literally just um, uh, send quite the ones with no value obviously to your club. It's up to you guys. Whatever works best for you guys at the start of FIFA 23's release. And obviously I'll be not dropping another in-depth tutorial on bronze pack method at the start of FIFA 23 once it is released on the 27th of September. Anyway guys, that is going to be all for today's video. I hope today's video did help you out and give you an insight into trading methods which are likely to work at the beginning of FIFA 23 as long as it is similar to FIFA 22. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure you have dropped a like and commented. You can also subscribe for more of my FIFA 23 content which will be coming out. You can also join my FIFA 22 Discord server, link in the description. Thanks guys for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.